Trap is the newest film by M. Night Shyamalan starring Josh Hartnett, and oh boy was I excited for this one. The premise alone was enough to get my butt in his seat, but after constantly seeing the trailer before almost every movie I've seen lately, the excitement never wavered. In fact, it only got greater. Now before the review gets started, I'm going to say that I'm in no way a big Shyamalan fan. In fact, I don't really have much of an opinion on the guy. The only movies I've seen by him were The Sixth Sense and Signs, but that was over 20 years ago. Holy f so I don't have any attachment to his projects and no expectations really. Now of course I've read about his movies and the interesting directions he goes in and of course I know he's big on twists, but I went into Trap just excited to see how this thing would turn out regardless of whether or not it's a new M. Night movie. So what did I think of it? Well I think that Trap is the definition of a 3.5 out of 5 movie. And what I mean by that is Trap has moments of pure brilliance. Its concept is at times executed with so much fun and the situation we find Josh Hartnett's character in was really intriguing to me. But Trap is also full of wild conveniences, silly writing, and ultimately doesn't quite stick the landing. But hey, I still very much enjoyed the effort. So Trap is about a father and daughter who attend a concert. Nothing really odd or unusual about that. Well, what is odd and unusual is the fact that the concert has been designed to be a trap for a wanted serial killer, and guess what? The father just so happens to be the wanted guy. But let's talk about that twist for a second. A lot of people were surprised that the trailers revealed that aspect of the movie because most people expect a crazy turn of events in the M. Night film, but Trap is actually a very straightforward thriller. Early on you immediately know what's up with the father, whether you've watched the trailer or not, and that's what made this such a fun time at the theaters for me. Josh Harnett plays Cooper, who is very much a loving dad with his daughter, but he also comes off as a guy who does a bad impression of a nice guy. From the very start, his paranoia is evident and he knows that it's not going to be easy to escape this concert, but with his serial killer senses and some helpful plot conveniences along the way, it seems like no matter what the police do to catch this guy, Cooper is always one step ahead of them. And Trap was at its best when contained within that concert setting. I initially thought the entire movie would take place there, but when it shifted in unexpected directions, things started to become a bit messy. I won't spoil anything, because where this movie goes is part of the fun, but it did feel like two different movies. The first half had this original idea of a concert being a trap for a serial killer, then the second half becomes a bit more of a generic, predictable thriller. And even though the back end of Trap wasn't as enticing as the beginning, what still makes this a fun ride is Hartnett's performance. Even if the execution of certain elements wasn't the greatest, you're still invested in seeing how Cooper is going to get out of this. But that's also a reason why Trap feels a little uneven. We're shown that Cooper knows every next move and is one hell of a smart fella, but he's also a little dumb at times. Those lapses in judgment obviously push the story forward, but instead of it coming off as an intentional part of the character, it feels more like the script backed itself into a few corners and needed some more convenient help to get itself out. So while the script is a bit messy, it's also what made it so fun at times. Trap is full of super silly moments, and logic goes out the window constantly, but if you can just let it all unfold in front of you without thinking too much, I think you'll like what M. Night was going for here. Now M. Night has stated that a big reason why he wanted to make this film was to give his daughter some time in the spotlight, and at times I thought it focused a little too much on her. She's of course the pop star Cooper and her daughter are seeing, and there's some cool cinematography ideas where the camera always stays as close to her as Cooper and his daughter daughter are, but because of knowing that fact about the making of this movie, it is blatantly obvious at times what M. Night was trying to do, and while her music and singing is really nice, her acting needed a bit more work. His daughter becomes a big part of the story at one point, and some of her scenes didn't always work, but to be fair, it didn't really take much away from my experience as a whole. But the rest of the acting is great in my opinion. Especially with Hartnett acting like an alien at times who's trying to do an impression of what human kindness is like, he really pulled off a loving father who also just so happens to be a messed up serial killer. But with that being said, I was a little disappointed with how we never really get to see Cooper at his worst. Throughout the movie, we as the audience are being told that this guy is one of the most messed up killers ever, brutally killing his victims and is a tough son of a bitch to catch. So I was predicting that we would see Cooper go off at one point, but he never really does. Now the movie does give you little nuggets of info about his past here in there, but it never goes as crazy as I was predicting it would. Perhaps because of the PG-13 rating, it was never intended to showcase any over-the-top violence or Cooper in killer mode, and maybe I've just been seeing too many horror films lately. But also from what I've read about some of the twists in M. Night's other films, Trap does feel like a more tamed, straightforward thriller that's not trying to do anything wild or crazy with its story. But hey, after what I saw, I still think it's a pretty decent movie. Overall guys, I had a lot of fun with Trap. It's beautifully shot on film with super fun and silly acting, the originality of the first half was very entertaining, and while the second half becomes more generic and predictable, it still resulted in a mostly satisfying viewing for me. You can tell M. Night Shyamalan and the crew had a lot of fun making this, and I had a lot of fun watching it. So I give Trap a 3.5 out of 5.